Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. And today I'm going to explain the scale of sixths. And this is the most useful scale you've probably never heard of. So in this lesson I'm going to explain first of all what is the scale of sixths. Secondly, why is it so useful. Thirdly, how do you do it. And fourthly, I'm going to give you a series of exercises to help you get better at it. Now basically the scale of sixth is a simple method of harmonizing so that you can play two notes at once in harmony without really thinking about it. So if we imagine a D major scale the simplest harmony that you could think of, although not necessarily play, is a third above. So that would be um, third above is a good guaranteed harmony that's going to work most of the time. The problem with this is that, as you will have seen, it involved quite a lot of tricky finger work, uh, a lot of four fingers and a lot of jumping from first to third position. Um, it also places the harmony high where sometimes it's better to have it low because if you're playing the same two strings and bowing the same then the, the top is going to be as strong as the bottom and will possibly dominate because it's higher. So, better to place the third above an octave down. So it's the same harmony, but it's now going to be lower instead of higher. And what that gives us is... Something much more manageable, that's easy to keep in first position, and um, it has the main note, the melody note, at the top rather than at the bottom. So, what's so special about this scale? I'm going to give you now a series of examples uh, from different genres or different uh, functions within fiddle playing where you might find it useful. So, uh, if you are playing a simple melody, um, it may well be a melody that you've played a thousand times and you're absolutely sick of, <laughs> but you want to make it slightly more interesting for yourself and everybody else. So, uh, here we go. That is immediately fat, it's interesting, it's going to jump out. Um, even though that melody is very simple, it suddenly becomes challenging, so you're not going to be bored anymore playing that tune, and um, it's going to sound a lot richer. Here's another one um, country fiddle accompaniment. You often want to use um, two strings, particularly in old Hank Williams type um, tunes. So, stuff like this. So, key of A. D to E, back to A. If you've seen any of my Hank Williams videos or my Joined Up Country, you'll recognise immediately what this is all about. Um, so it's an easy way of harmonising and moving between chords. You can do the same thing with shuffles. Um, so it's a good way of choosing the pairs. So you only have to think about basically one note and the other one takes care of itself. So I wasn't thinking of pairs, I was just thinking of the upper notes. Um, it's good for creating punchy western swing licks. So this easily becomes which is a very western swing kind of sound it's good for making yodels if instead of playing the notes together you split them up and it's also great in a minor key for doing uh, gypsy type phrases something like this um, becomes Again, you only have to think about the top note, not the bottom one. So, going back to how do we do it. Um, one thing about these scales is normally when you learn a scale, let's say a D major scale, you'll start on D and you'll end on D. Well, if you're doing a harmony, you don't, you're not necessarily going to start in the same place. So a good place for starting the D major scale turns out to be there, which doesn't even have a D. 
it's got an A on the bottom and an F sharp. And then taking that up. Because we're not really thinking about a scale as such, what we're thinking about is a note. That's the first note we're going to play because that's a good convenient note for a D. So don't expect all of your scales of sixths to start and end on a root. Let's start in the same place again and this time let's go as high as we can. So as the upper note is going up the scale, the lower note is also going up the scale, but a sixth below. Why is it a sixth? Because a third above uh, that interval becomes six, a sixth interval when it's uh, down below. So it's just now a matter of spending time, um, weeks or months even, learning this scale in all of the keys where you might want to use it, so probably half a dozen keys, uh, the simple keys and their relative minors. Here's another example uh, in the key of C, again not starting with a C, so we're starting here with an E over a G. If you're going at one of these scales and you find that one note is wrong, it's probably going to be the lower note and you just have to stop playing the upper note, just start playing the lower note. And you'll, you'll soon find out which scale, which note is not actually part of the scale that you're supposed to be playing. So finally here's a set of exercises which will help to get you familiar because just doing the scale is not quite enough. Uh, you do then need to be able to play simple phrases um, and automatically harmonise them. So here's an example. That should turn into... And if you can't do that straight away then it's because you've not done the scale enough times. So go back and do the scale uh, lots more times. Um, and then you'll find that automatically your fingers will know what to do. Here's another one. Harmonise it. Here's another one. I've done another video on my Patreon page which has a lot more of these exercises and I will do more of those in lots of different keys. So if you're keen to um, pursue this and want the exercises then join me on Patreon. Um, you'll see the address uh, just above and um, that's where you can get to those as well as a great deal more other goodies. Hope you enjoyed this and see you again soon.